bad actions have consequences, right? We're told as little kids not to play ball in the house. But what happens when we play ball in the house and we smash the lamp, right? Our mother comes in and she starts screaming, this is why we can't have nice things. And there's consequences for those bad actions, right? We get punished and we're sent to our room. That's a lifelong lesson that stays with us. Bad actions have consequences that we're going to be held accountable. That's just what we know to be a reality. It is really the basis of a civilized society. We have rules, you follow those rules. If you don't follow those rules, you're held accountable and there's consequences, whatever that might be. And so going forward, when we're talking about personal injury, if you get hurt because of someone else's negligence, they violated a safety rule. They did something wrong. So they have to pay the consequence of uh, covering you by their insurance and making you whole, giving you back what you lost as a result of them hurting you. This is why I think it's important to understand for those of you who say, I'm not that person. I'm not the type of person to make a claim against anybody. I'm not in it for the money. No, you're not in it for the money. You're in it to hold people accountable for violating the rules that are established in a civilized society. People should not be allowed to get away for the harm that they have caused. They have a duty and a responsibility to make sure that they are operating within the rules. And if they are not operating within the rules and someone winds up getting hurt as a result of violating that trust, consequences are that you have to be held accountable. You hear from people well after the fact, well past the statute of limitations, who will call me up and they'll say, geez, my neck still hurts, my knee still hurts. I banged my head and I still can't think straight. Well, when did this happen? Oh, five, six years ago. <laughs> Sorry, nothing I can do about that. The statute of limitations has expired. So it's very important to understand that it's okay. It really is. It's okay to hold people accountable. It's okay to act quickly. And as a matter of fact, you're better off acting more quickly than not because memories fade over time, evidence is lost over time. So acting quickly is a very important thing to do. And don't be hesitant. I really want to stress, don't be hesitant or feel bad that you're making a claim against somebody. To know that you violated the law and you're gonna get a ticket. Again, it's the basis of civilized society, laws. We're all held accountable to know what they are and maintain them. And when we break the trust, we all should be held accountable. So I really want to emphasize that in personal injury, it is no different. So hopefully that changes your mind or if you know someone who is not taking action because they feel bad and that's not them, you know, try to tell them that, yeah, there it is, it should be. I'm the guy who holds these other people accountable. I'm the one, when you call, I'm doing this for you. I'm the guy holding them accountable. So you can just sit back and relax and let me do that business, okay? Really, that's what you're doing when you're hiring a personal injury attorney, is you are hiring someone to go after a person who has violated a safety rule, has caused you harm as a result, and I'm the one holding them accountable. And by extension, I'm holding their insurance company accountable. I'm the one arguing with the insurance company who's controlling the process. And I know better than you because it's my job to do so. I'm Dave Buckley. I am a personal injury attorney. I really hope you never need me, but I'm here if you do.